Freemasons are Freemasons because the Moors of this land gave these guys permission to be here and say that they're quote unquote the government. Like they didn't just get this brilliant idea to be Europeans who live in Europe and all their history is on that side of on that side of the world to come over here and start saying that this is this is their land. And the only reason that they've been getting away with it for so long is because they buried the information that no one draw Libra. Which is the information that's going to connect you right back to this government. So that you don't even have to go look for a government. Government's already sitting there with money out here already, right? With seals out here already, with land out here already, with buildings out there. We're building right now, which is a government building. And this isn't theirs, like this is ours, on our own land. Because the arrangement that these European Pale European. So if you say European, like that could be us too. Because we're the first European. So the pale European Freemasons intercepted the Moors government by getting the Moors to think that they're Negro, Black, Colored, African and anything else. And once they agree to that, then they abandon this. And then when this is abandoned, something has to come in its place the ego. to something else has to come into place to substitute for the thing that fell. And the only way that this thing could come about and say, yo, we want to take, take part or we want to take control is if the foundation set it up. And then this would be called obverse and this would be called reverse. So that this would be called Hands, and this be called tails. And heads and tails happen with coins, which is currency, which is because. Everything has to do with government. Science has to do with government. Religion has to do with government. History has to do with government. Whatever it is that we say we want to put our attention to with regard to our study has to do with government. And if you're disconnected from your own government, you can't talk about government. You can't talk that, yeah, I'm a sovereign, like we are talking about downstairs. You can't talk about, I'm a sovereign, without showing allegiance to where you gain your sovereignty. Like how are you going to say you're a sovereign and not say where you got it from? Because sovereignty only comes through nations. Sovereignty is not something that's just available for anybody to go and use. When people say that they're sovereign and they're free men on the land and all that, like they're, they're directly running a fraud. And if you connect yourself with that stuff, now you're running a fraud with those guys, who you're saying are the enemy and they're KKK and they hate black people so we can't deal with them. But you're engaging in their stuff. You're getting, you're getting benefits from what those guys are saying is the government. When you have your own government sitting here and nobody's claiming it, if I see Barack Obama, he's always talking under this. So if you check every single president in the history of the Americas, 
All they do is talk under this, the flying eagle. But when you look at the back of the building, there's two seals on it. But nobody ever talks under this pyramid. Only the Freemasons do. And then those are the guys who are in control of your government. So free, don't look at Freemasonry you're like, well, they're all Freemasonry. These guys were telling me about Masons and like, I don't want nothing to do with that because those guys worship the devil and they go in a coffin and they give each other back shots and all that. <laughs> and that's not Freemasonry. Yeah. Freemasonry is government. That's their own little whatever that they want to do. Just like these guys just have their own little government stuff that they do. And once you engage in it, eventually the power has to go back to the obverse. Because if we're talking about obverse, and reverse, right? And it's a cycle. It's a cycle. It's a time ending and then a time starting. And when that time starting, it's another time ending. When the cycle's coming around where this time's ending, the reverse is gonna stop reversing and automatically, it would go back to the obverse. And when it goes back to the obverse, we better be in our proper person to accept the rewards that the prophet said in his literature is gonna come because eventually this is just gonna happen. And either you're gonna be national, being on a landmass, or you're gonna be state property. And if you're state property, you're going to a concentration camp, you can't do nothing about it. And you're there already. Because the real concentration camp is you have a birth certificate. License. Or a driver's license. Concentration camp isn't something where you have some buses outside at this one building, and we just don't know why these buses are there. There's these yellow buses that just sit there. And people are saying, oh yeah, well those are the buses they're gonna be using to have a concentration camp. When we ask them who they are, they're going to give you some type of identification that they got from some guy who says that they're the government. And abandon their own government. And when they do engage with these guys, they're not showing allegiance to what set those guys up. Which is this same thing. They can't be who they are without the obverse. Right? So, we're talking about pale European Freemasons that inherited the Moorish government. Because the Moors abandoned their own government. On the bill, there's three circles and one shield. And the shield is a shield of heraldry. Yo, you have the thing back there? You look up heraldry? Heraldry. The European Freemasons jurisdiction is only in Europe because they're European. That's the only place that they can say that they're gonna do anything with regard to government. Like you're not hearing about like them going to China and trying to do what they're doing in this land. You don't hear them going to Mexico and trying to do what they're doing in this land. There's certain places that you go where you hear them talk about democracy. And that, yeah, we're a free democratic society and we have rights to do this and we have to, no you don't. Like you're on a, you're on a concentration camp. Because that's the, that's the, that's the, the concentration camp, the democracy. The form of government that you show allegiance to is the concentration camp, or it's heaven. So if you if you want to be in heaven, because religion has to do with law, order, and government, you have to know where you are with regard to your status, which is connecting you to your nation, which is connecting you to nationality, which the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights and then the Universal Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People 
and the Universal Declaration of a Child says that everybody has a right to a nationality. And our nationality is Moorish American according to the Prophet. And the, and the Moors, or the Moorish American, are the Moors in America who are descendants of the people who gave these Europeans permission to be in this land. And what the, Euro the, and what the Europeans inherited was the European Freemasons concepts of Europe, which was ours. Because we were the real nobility of Europe. So when we say that the Europeans did something, don't, don't watch you not cursing yourself. Just like when we say, kill the white man. Because the white man is the devil. But we are really saying, kill yourself. Because we're the white man. Because white and black have to do with status. White and black has nothing to do with complexion of skin. It has to do with what part of the government are you connected to. Are you connected to the black part of the government? Where if we look at the conditions that people are living in, the times are black right now. The times are dark. The times, the times are not positive right now. Or are you part of the white part of the government? Where white is purity, and purity is divine. And if you're a divine being, you have a certain obligation on the earth plane. Islam. Islam, Islam. You have a certain obligation on this earth plane, and it's to connect yourself to a side of the government, as far as this land is concerned. Because in this land, there's only two forms of government that exist. The government that's not the government, and the government that's the real government. And the real government is sitting in front of our face, brought to us by a prophet that was sent by the highest sense of divinity to teach people that look like Negro black colored people to change how they do things and do things more in line with what he's talking about, which is dealing with things at a law perspective and law goes back to government. So all this is about government. When you look at this shield right here, right? That's on the dollar bill and then we'll pass it around, right? The shield is a form of heraldry, which goes back to the nobility of Europe, which is us, right? There's the, mo the most divine of birds. The most divine of birds is an owl. Because the owl doesn't miss anything. Because the owl is nocturnal. Right? On this bill, right? There's an owl. And the reason that there's an owl on this bill is because the owls represent the moors. Because of its divine perspective.